Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena, and even though we're still months away from the announcement of the next big iPhone, rumors about it are coming at us from all sides. It is probably going to be known as the iPhone 7, that is not too hard to guess. It is also safe to say that the iPhone is going to change in terms of design, and that bit is actually quite important. You see, there's this rumor going around claiming that the iPhone 7 is going to have no headphone jack. Instead, Apple might try to push the adoption of wireless earphones and earphones that use the lightning connector. But what is the point? What would Apple gain by removing the headphones connector from the iPhone? And will these alternative types of earphones be any better compared to traditional ones? Well, first of all, by removing the headphones connector, Apple will free up space inside the iPhone itself where other components can be installed. That's one of the reasons why Apple moved to smaller SIM cards and replaced that huge 30-pin connector with the much smaller lightning port. Also, the removal of the headphones connector might pave the way to a water-resistant iPhone. Between 10 and 20% of all broken phones die because of water damage, so an iPhone that is less vulnerable would be a welcome improvement. At the same time, by dropping the classic headphones connector, Apple might be trying to steer people towards higher quality sound. Lightning headphones in particular have great potential in that respect. For example, this is the JBL Reflect Aware. They are light and sweatproof, which makes them ideal for use while exercising, but the killer feature of these earphones is that they have active noise cancellation. Tiny microphones are used to kill background noise. And these are the Philips Fidelio NC1L headphones, which also have active noise cancellation, made possible by using four built-in microphones. Now, some of you will point out that active noise cancellation in headphones is nothing new. That is correct. But while traditional headphones that have active noise cancellation require their own dedicated battery to work, these two models do not. They consume power straight from the iPhone they're connected to. The Philips Fidelio M2L is another model worth mentioning. What's special about it is the 24-bit, 48kHz digital-to-analog converter that is inside. There is also built-in high-quality amplifier. When combined, these features should produce better, more powerful sound compared to what's coming out of an iPhone's standard headphone jack. And while we're at it, we can mention the Odyssey EL8 Titanium. This here is an exotic and very expensive product. Inside the cans are high-end planar magnetic speakers driven by a 24-bit digital-to-analog converter and a dedicated high-quality amplifier. It should be easy to see that earphones that use a lightning connector have greater potential when it comes to sound quality and features. But removing the classic headphones jack from the iPhone will have a number of downsides, and one of them will be compatibility. Many people will be frustrated to know that they cannot use their classic wired earphones with the iPhone 7, unless they buy some kind of adapter, but we're guessing those will not be cheap. At the same time, people who do buy lightning earphones might be frustrated to know that those will be incompatible with anything else than iPhones, iPads and iPods. And on top of all that, judging by the four models we just highlighted and their pricing, we can assume that Lightning earphones will not be cheap. So how does all this sound to you? Should Apple remove the headphones connector from the iPhone? Let us know down in the comments and subscribe to never miss a video.